you want to. I, 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 I don't really to enjoy that. It's good, but I don't to enjoy the ones that would have been battered and, and, and grown and that kind of stuff. But the ones that I went to the tree for, the ones that I picked, I don't know, it's something about that that gives me a different kind of enjoyment. You know, and, and, and then uh, I exercise my gift as a human being, and it is the gift of choice. We all have the gift of choice. Free will is something that we all have. And, and so we have the, the right or the freedom to choose what we want. And, and with that freedom comes great responsibility because you, you based on your choice, you your your it determines whether you glorify God or not. Amen. And so it is all dependent on the choices that we make. And so uh, one person uh, who was an atheist stood up in the, in the middle of a preaching, and a man who was an apologist talking about you know the fact that we have free will. And he stood up and he said, Preacher. <laughs> How can God give us free will when he already knows everything? So if he knows everything, then he didn't give us free will, and we are all wired to say and to do what we want. And so the, the response of the preacher was simply this. He responded with a question. He said, if that's the case, were you free to ask the question you asked? Because if, if you're free to ask the question that you ask, then you have free will. But if not, how can God wire you to ask a question that comes to him? Free will, that, 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 that freedom of choice it is something that I think we, we take so lightly. And I just take, for example, uh, the Bible said when God wanted a sacrifice in, in the book of Genesis chapter 4, the Bible said that he, he, he Cain and Abel, you all remember them? All right. Cain, Cain and Abel came to give a sacrifice. And the Bible said that Cain was a tiller of the ground. And Cain came and Cain said, All right, I have some. Uh, you know, I have some, 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 some bananas there. I have some mangoes there. I have some, just, you know, let me, let me compile them and let me give God a fruit offering. And he, he, the Bible said he, he compiled it and he gave God a, a, a fruit offering. And, you know, the Bible said that Abel did something a little different. They all start, they all had the same in, instruments, they all had the same ingredients, but he, each one of them came to a different decision. And the Bible said that Abel came and he, he cut a, a lamb, he cut an a animal. And the Bible said that he came and he brought it, he brought the best for God. And the Bible said something so powerful that I think we don't uh, see enough or we don't talk about enough with the fact that God respected Abel's offering. Amen. Amen. He respected. You know it is for, it's for God to respect your life. The Bible said he respected Abel's offering. Why? Because he saw, based on what Abel presented, he saw that Abel gave thought to his decisions. He allowed prayer to, 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 to determine what to bring. Because Abel is saying, God wants a sacrifice. And in order for me, I'm not bringing this to a man. I'm bringing this to God. And so I, I cannot... I cannot bring in just anything. And so he began to cut the animal and he realized that in order for me to come to God, the mere fact that I can come into his presence is because of the blood of the Lamb. And you see just how your decisions glorify God. Pray before you pray. You see, because we are, we are human beings and, and the mere fact that we are saved, we are saved, and the Bible said that. You so, you know, one of the beautiful things about this, and this is why I respect and I love the passage that we're going to so much, because even Jesus had to make choices. And I, I must admit that COVID and a lot of people have choices to make. But I hear the Lord say we have to pray before we pick. Pray before we pick. And we see Jesus being God. He, the Bible said that he passed the night in prayer. Before he chose people in his life. He prayed before
before he decided who I would walk with. He prayed before he decided who I, 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 I spent close time with, who, who I spent the, 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 the closest uh, experiences with. He prayed before he, I don't know how many of us we prayed before we made decisions. You see, because we need to understand that we, 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 we have an enemy that is after us. It's just so quiet. We have an enemy, I'll talk to the online community. <laughs> we have an enemy online community that is after us. And his, 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 his uh, success is determined by the decisions that we make. And so with that freedom of choice, the Bible said, trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. But in all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct your part. Pray, we need, to get, we need to get to a place in prayer, whereby we, we, we pray before we decide which career to take. We pray before we decide which move to make. We pray. You see, we don't make a move and then pray after. We, we pray before we make decisions. I believe that if Adam and Eve prayed before they picked, we would have been like a person now. Because the Bible said that they were there, and the Bible said that, that, that Eve was standing there, and the, the serpent came, and he began to talk to her. And she did not consult God before she picked. And so she picked, and after she picked, then we are in the West and we're in now because two people did not pray before they pick. And this is why prayer becomes so important, it's so vital to our walk with God. And so Jesus, and, and this is what I love about the Bible said about Joshua. Joshua, the Bible said he, he was a man of war, right? And one day he saw someone with his sword drawn. He saw a man, the Bible said, with his sword drawn, and he, he ran up to him and he said, Are you for us? Or you're for our adversary? Joshua was so, he was so uh, uh, focused on what God wanted him to do that he had a, a complete stop of everyone who was in his camp. Because he, he prayed. He, he's a man of prayer. He's a man of prayer. And this is what this is what makes this passage so beautiful because oh Lord, I have, I have about 10 more minutes. Right. Let me get to let me get to the point. <laughs> Praise God. And the Bible said that these 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 apostles that he named, those are the ones that God is going to use to make him accomplish his destiny. And I want you to understand something. I want you to see your life. As not, you're not merely existing. As a child of God, you're not merely existing. And so you need to understand that you, you serve a God who is who is placed purpose on your life, and you also have an enemy who's after you. And the reason and one of the main ways he gets to you is through your relationships. Pray before you pick. Yeah, yeah. Pray before you pick. You need to get to a place that you have an idea why the people in your life, why they're there. Thank you, God. You need to have an idea because this is what Joshua was saying. He saw a man with his sword drawn, and the man said, He ran to him and said, Are you for us? Or you're for our adversary? Because one of the worst things you can have is to have people in your life that you're not sure about. Are you for us? Or you're for our adversaries? You need to be, you need to be sure. And this is why prayer becomes so important because when you pray, God reveals to you. Uh, why people are there and, and he reveals you and he brings people into your life that will propel you to your purpose. Pray before you pick. Yeah, yeah. Are you for us? Are you for our adversaries? I, know what, I, I, I need to know for sure before I go to war with you. I need to understand. I need to know. Are you for me or you against me? Yeah. And this is what when you pray before you pick, this is why this is what frees you from so much heart. So quiet. You, I, I believe, sister, I'm talking, I'm, let me talk to my sister. I've been saying such a long time. So, I believe, sister Annette, that if we pray before we pick, if we pray before we pick, sister Annette, 
and as most of the tears that we shared, we would have shared. Amen. If we had we prayed before we picked. And the Bible said that Jesus picked 12. Why did he pick 12? Because there was a multitude following him. In this same passage, we see thousands of people following Jesus. But the ones that he's concerned with are the ones that he prayed to be. There was a time when the Bible said that he sat with his disciples and he said, Who do men say that I am? You remember that brother Sam saying that? Who, who? He said, I want to know who do men say that I am. And he began to say, Some say you are Elijah, and some say you are one of the prophets. And Jesus said, I want to know. I, I want to know about that, my sister. Is that he did not say, How could they be saying these things about me? I'm God in the flesh. How could they be, be saying about me that I'm just Elisha or I'm just Isaiah? He didn't say that. He said, I want to know now the people that I pray to pick. What do you think about? Amen. Who do you say that I am? Because, and this is why it's important, because when you pray before you pick, the, the choices that you make reflect who you are. Amen. But they say, show me who your friends are. Amen. I'll show you who you are. That's not just for our children, amen. That's for us. Praise God. And so, and so, he, 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 he prayed before he picked them, and so he wanted to know, I wonder who you say that I am. Peter said, you are. And this is the beauty when you pray before you pray. You know, just imagine, and I have a closing just I just want to encourage you to pray before you pray. Just imagine this, and I, 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 I was thinking about this this morning, uh, uh, Kristen. It's amazing how people, which I'm, I'm talking about the scribe and Pharisees, how they woke up every day. They get dressed, they made up everything, they get dressed, brother Sam. They kiss their wives and children just to follow Jesus, to criticize his ministry. Yeah, yeah. Y'all see, y'all saw that? They, 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 they dress, they come up with the and they just, they're in the crowd and just watching Jesus. Waiting for him to step. You can hear him on the side of me. How could I want to be some of the new people? Yeah. In fact, they went so far as to get up early and go around the neighborhood to see who committed adultery. Mm -hmm. They took the woman, dragged the woman, and they dragged the woman and So that means they didn't really want justice. Okay. All they wanted was the was to come from Jesus. Because if they wanted justice, they were a the couple. Because the boat of them was to, was to be sold. So they dragged the woman. The woman, the woman didn't get time to dress. She's trying to scatter the little things of her God. And they dropped her by Jesus. And they said, listen, the Lord said she knows me so basic. And I'm saying, Lord, this didn't bother you? And, I, and it's as though I hear the Lord say to me, it didn't bother me because those were not the ones I picked. Hallelujah. You see, when you when you go and you pray before you pick, then you are saved from so much heartache because you know that those will be one that I will like it. And so they, therefore, they, 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 what they say is not really I just want to encourage you sometimes. Amen. This is why we need to pray before you pray. And so in closing, I just it, it, it just uh, you know, as we were on this topic of prayer. The Bible said that one time Jesus preached something, he said something. And the Bible said, many turned away and followed him no more. Many turned away and followed him no more. But you know what Jesus did? The Bible said he turned to the ones that he prayed for. And he said, you were to me. Why everyone else is walking out, you going to? The products of my, 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 my prayer, the 
decisions that I made in prayer, whatever, whatever your business is, is failing, when you, when you pray before you pick up, your business will stand the test of time. Why? Because you prayed before you pick. When you go on, so they said, where can we go? Yeah. Where can we go? Because whatever you're praying for will stand the test of time. Pray yeah. before yeah. you pick up. This is why we need to get to a place in our lives. As I close. Hallelujah. This is why we need to get to a place in our life when we're walking so closely with God, brother. When we're walking so closely. Lord, that we, we know and we understand that everyone that is in the world, they we know their purpose. Amen. Just imagine Jesus chose Judas already knowing what he would do. He chose, he made his selection, he handpicked Judas already knowing that he would betray him one day. But because he prayed for what before he picked, God told him exactly why Judas was in his life. I want to ask you, do you know why? The people that are in your life, why are in your life? You see, because we can't just allow life to just bring relationships along. All right, let me talk to you. Online, online church, you cannot, we cannot just allow life to just bring people over. Why? Because you will find that you have a group of people just have Samson. Samson didn't pray before he picked Delilah. Talk to him. Talk to him. Because had he prayed before he picked Delilah, then there's no way that relationship can hold. But he found comfort. And the Bible said he did not even know that the same person that was right next to him got a different hold his head. This is why we need to pray. Amen. Before we pray, pray Amen. before we make every kind of decision. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You need to, it had, had you been praying before you picked, you would have never ended up in some of the predicaments that we're in. Because we, we allow the enemy to send our way whatever we he wants. And so because we're so nice. In the other way, so naive that we just assume that everyone is good. Praise God, that everything is okay. And then when you find you, you bring the lady all in your house, and you don't even know she has been your husband. All right. So you see, this is why you need to pray before you pick. All right. Can you stand with me, Father, in the name of Jesus? Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. There's something, I, God, I believe in my heart that there, 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 this world is for suffering. <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every decision that we have to make. Yes, yes. Be anxious for nothing, but with everything by prayer yes. and supplication. Let your request be made known unto God. Lord, we make our request tonight to thee. Hallelujah. Lord, I pray even considering every believer, every child of God. Hallelujah, that we will get to a place in our walk with God, that we, we, we know exactly what you want us to do and where you want us to go. In the name of Jesus, I pray, even consider the health of your people. Yes, hey, hallelujah. Lord, that oh God, you will restore. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I sense that God wants us to, in our prayer time, that we need to pray over our relationships. Pray over our relationships. Because if I'm here, I'm seeing, as I'm praying, I'm seeing somebody that has some close friends that are practicing witchcraft. And so we need to pray concerning our relationships and ask God to cut ties to another thing. Because the enemy is sending people away to try to distract us and to try to pull us back and to try to distort us from getting to this place in God that we need to get to. Father, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke every contrary spirit and every over and covenant from the devil. Yes, Hallelujah, Lord. in the name of Jesus. I come disguised as a friend to the people today. God, I expose every fake 
oh God, and we, and we, and we cover that from the devil. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Lord, everyone that is disguised as a friend or as a good friend or as a best friend or as a, a, a good colleague. God, in the name of Jesus, yes. but in secretly, in the name of Jesus, practicing witchcraft. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, I break that relationship right now. Yes. Lord, we can fire the fire of God to fall upon our people today. Increase, oh God, the spirit of discernment yes. in the lives of your people, my God. In the name of Jesus, in these last days, God, that we will be sharp in the realm of the spirit. That, oh God, we will see every relationship for what it is. In the name of Jesus, and I thank you today. In Jesus' name, amen, 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 amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and I thank you to be in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.